Welcome, adventurer. And today, we will be running for mayor. Is that right, Scott? Yes. Mayor and lo uh, what's this called again? Uh, Deputy Mayor. Yes, Deputy Mayor. And uh, this is this is part of my team. Uh, another member of my team is Omega. Currently, he's not here with us because he's out fighting crime, cleaning out the streets, which is one of our main points. We need to clean the streets of Minecraft. Because There's a lot of crime and drugs over here. Yes, and we want to clean up the streets, as well as address many other strategies. And as mayor, we're going to do that. We all know the tragedy of Hurricane Bell. Yes, it was a lot lo too long time ago when we had a surplus of food overrunning this land. It left a lot of people homeless. Oh, that day. Oh, oh lordy lord. And since many people have been homeless, we wanted to give those people homes. As you can see, some people are still homeless, resting on the very house. Or the very first mirror house. Yes. Say. We are They're occupying the roof. Yes. You see the tragedy. They all don't these... have a choice. All these people need homes. And as mayor, we will build them homes. Among Hurricane Bale, there have been other tragedies that happened on the server. One being a tree plague. Over here, there used to be tons of trees in this Debu forest. But as you can see, a plague has been eating them away, and only the f a few, the strongest among the trees, have survived. This plague has reached as far as my personal orchard, which was full of oak trees. Look at the poor devil tree. Oh, it looks so sad. And we want to fix this. Here, this is the orchard in which it used to contain tons of oak trees, but now the plague has run it barren. And they're all gone. Not a single saplin. But before you, we are currently in the production of Craft Labs. A home away from home, in which we are developing ways to stop this plague, this disease, and with it, restore the Debu Forest to once it once was. As mayor, we will bring improving communication among the Minecraft people by providing a post office. Ain't that right, Scott? Yes. To bring everyone closer together. We built this post office, uh, Cyrene and I and a couple of other people, and let's go ahead and talk to her right now to see the impact of the post office among the servers so far. How's it going, Cyrene? <laughs> yes, all the leftover Christmas presents will be delivered to the post office and then the other players can come and pick them up when they're ready. So as you can see, since the post office was built, not a single gift was left unattended. If somebody wasn't able to get their gift, well, they're gonna get it now, thanks to the post office. You can also bring all your lost and found gifts over here, like, um, fogged it with my fishing pole. I lost it, but he brought it back. As mayor, we want to create more jobs in this server for the people of the land so they can feed themselves, Bathe themselves, get food, you know, buy some stuff, improve the economy and such. And as such, we don't want to waste any structures. Before you, right here, is the first Mayor's House. Yeah. An upgrade is already being made in the distance called Mayor's Manor. And that is where the next, or the Mayor will be subsiding when it's finished built. But till then, this is the currently building. But we won't waste this building when the new Mayor Manor is built. This will be turned into a soup kitchen. That's right. We intend to feed the poor and the homeless who suffer from Hurricane Bell and who can't be able to build their own houses because of the tree plague. They can even sleep here if they want when it's cold outside. In the interest of making more jobs, we have created other businesses such as Adventure Co, where we hire adventurers. As you can see, two adventurers right behind us, where we hire adventurers. Two of them! Yeah, our business is booming already. See, we are producing results with this economy. But yes, we hire adventurers to help protect the city and to find rare resources to help build enchantments and other weaponry and such to help boost our overall level for this city. This is a time of mayhem that our adventuring company will defend against. Look at this attack. This gorilla is attacking the clock tower. Our adventurers from our adventure company will stop this kind of mayhem. So as you can see, 
We have a lot planned for this upcoming year. So vote for Fargo and Scott Van Hell as deputy mayor. All right, so I went to, I went downstairs to go get some food after we were streaming, and we were out of sandwiches, so I couldn't even have a sandwich. And so instead, I had some chocolate chip cakes and whatnot. And then I went upstairs, and as I was heading to my room, I hear noise, and from the left, wait, no, right, right from the right of my patio, or my deck, the door opens, and I was so scared, because it was wobbling, it was going back and forth, and so I went to the bathroom, and I locked the door, and I peed, and I was trapped there, but I tried to call my grandma, and it, uh, my phone died, so it was really scary, and so I started yelling for my grandma, she didn't answer, because she was asleep. And so I had to face my fears and go shut the door. There was no burglar. I thought there was a burglar. But there wasn't a burglar. Yay! Yeah, so that's my story. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I guess that's it. Careful not to hit each other with tools and stuff, friendly fires. Is he going to use Fargo, I'm not a noob. <laughs> I'm just oh, saying. Yeah. This stupid bunny is like all over the place. Okay, I got okay, some rabbit hide. Swords. All right, guys, remember four rabbit hides make one leather. Wait, who died? Oh crap! There's a zombie fog. I need uh, need some sort of sword or something. Oh, he's burnt to death. Don't worry. There. He's burnt to death. It's okay. It, this is a really good start, actually. Guys, yeah, there's, there's iron down here in this little cave. Let me find. There's also a ravine. Do you think we should go in the yeah. ravine or not? I um, think so. Yeah, we can do it safely. I feel like the ravine might be the best option. Yeah, that takes us down already. I'm just getting rid of all these trees because, like, for apples. Oh, you know, I'm, sc I'm so scared of seeing players. I don't think you understand. Okay, here. Um, come here I feel Harry. like we're going to run into a player really early on. Yeah, same. Because it's so small, this map. Oh, oh, crap. What the hell? All the water just activated. I'm freaking the fuck out. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Dude, I'm not even kidding. It's like pushing me. <laughs> I need oh a pickaxe. Oh, there's an apple right oh, here. Okay. It's going to push the That's apple away. Right. I just need a pick. Alright, I got oh, yeah, one apple on me. 